Hey y'all, pepper guy here. But today I'm not growing peppers. I'm gonna show y'all how to grow your own lettuce varieties. I just bought these at the store. Um, organically and hydroponically right in your own house. And it's pretty simple to do. I'll just show you a few easy steps of what it's gonna take to do it. And th this amount that I'm gonna make is by no means you know, enough to uh, supply a family for you know throughout the year but you can you you can see how you can easily scale this up and I mean even a tent this size you could definitely be able to make enough for you know say um, you know a couple that that eats eats quite a bit of salad so that being said I just um, yeah I thought I'd just make this series and it's going to be over several weeks just showing you the steps that you take along the way so Enjoy the video, thanks. All right, everyone. So it's been right at about three weeks. Um, as you can see, the plants, the lettuce plants are looking pretty healthy here. Uh, we do have we do have a little bit of uh, algae growth here, as you can see, um, which is probably pretty normal. I had to keep I had to keep water on them uh, pretty regularly because this uh, this heat pad was going and it would really dry out quick. Um, also, maybe next time I do this, I'm probably going to use a, a bit a bit deeper of a uh, container so that it doesn't dry out quite as quickly, and I don't have to keep adding water. But uh, we're, I'm just going to you know rinse the roots off really good, and uh, when we transfer into the hydroponic um, containers, I'll just be sure to clean the roots off real well so we don't get any of that. Uh, I don't know, so we have less chance of getting any any algae in there. So. Uh, and this is going to take me a little while. I'm going to pretty much pull three of the butter crunch um, plants out and put them in the rock wool cubes. And then these two here, they're, it's a salad bowl. Um, these two, and I'll get one of these other dark ones. And then I'm going to get these three, which are all different. I think that's an arugula. Um, I'm not sure all the other ones, but that's just, this last row is just kind of a mixture. It's called a medley. So, um, Yep, but I will. Uh, we'll just kind of fast forward this, and once we're ready to put in the containers, I uh, will see y'all then. All right, y'all. So I got uh, I got three butter crunch plants out. Some of them, that one's got good roots, pretty long. Uh, not all of them do. That one's barely got one there, but it'll be fine. I'll I'll leave the uh, the nutrient level pretty high, probably up to about here. You know, when it starts out, so it'll these roots will grow quickly in no time. They'll come down. Uh, here, I just got a cheap little plastic. It was a it was a uh, uh, transparent container. I mean, I just spray painted it black. You don't want, uh, you want it to be pretty dark in there. Again, you don't want light to, to shine in there too much when, uh, when you have those nutrients, cause it can, uh, you, you can see some, some algal growth in the, in the solution, which you don't want. So, um, so all I'm going to do here is the lid that came with it. I'm just going to drill three holes, uh, with my, 
two inch hole saw, um, as I showed you on a previous video. And I'm just pretty much doing an even, you know, an, like one here, one here, one here, just to give them kind of the most, most amount of space. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be, I think it'll do really well. Uh, something I, I definitely am gonna do next time. Um, I, I likely won't be growing these anymore in soil uh, from seed. You know, the easiest thing would likely be to just, you know, put, just drop a seed right in these rock wool cubes. Um, to me, I think it takes a bit longer to do that, but, you know, just, just put a, a seed or two in here, you know, put it about a quarter inch down and just keep this soaked, just keep it wet. And, you know, within a week or so, you'll, you'll see some sprouting. Um, and out the bottom, it might take, you know, something you might want to do is just split it completely down the middle. That way it's got a, a channel for the root. Uh, split it like that and then put the seed in. That way it's just got a, it's got an easier channel for the, for the roots to come out the bottom. But I'm, I'm sure you don't have to do that at all. I'm sure it'll, it'll eventually pop out. But if you keep these wet, you know, for, for a week or so, you will have some germination. And then once you start seeing roots at the bottom, that's when you can start put them in then in the, uh, in the uh, hydroponic solution. So, um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut the three holes and we'll see you in a minute. All right. That was pretty easy. And I found it was easier to just keep it on forward the whole time instead of putting it in reverse like the can. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this up for a minute. I, I'm real bad about making a mess in this little this little tent. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, that's it. Uh, then you just drop your plants in there. Um, you want to pour the, um, again, you want to pour the nutrients from the start, just, you know, right at the bottom of the cup, maybe, maybe a little above. You see this root is, there's a barely a root there. Um, so it wouldn't be a bad thing to just start off with uh, the nutrients up to here. Um, there's, you know, it, this, it's not going to drown this, this rock wool is like, a, it's, it's think of it as soil. So oxygen will be able to get into there. So you're not going to suffocate it, um, by, by having the nutrients. Now you don't want to have the nutrients up to here or anything. You could kill that plant real quick. Uh, but early on like this, it's, it's good to have the, the nutrients, like the level to be up to about right here. So just be careful when you're, you know, when you're pouring it and measure it. And, and again, this will have to only be done just, just early on. Um, once the plants are growing, the roots are going to be completely established at the bottom and you, you won't have to worry at all about it. Um, I am also going to actually drill a hole in here later on in maybe two weeks. And I'm going to add some, uh, some air bubbles to it just to kind of stimulate the roots even more, give them more oxygen. Um, but, I'll um, I'll update you later on that, and um, we can go ahead and fill this up, and it's ready to go. Let's see. I don't want them to fall out, but yeah, that's it. Let's see. I, I might not even have enough. I might have to make more. Yeah, I'll likely have to make a little more, but that's it. Um, I will go ahead and do the other three. Uh, let's see if that's touching. Yeah, it's not touching the bottom yet. So I'll go ahead and make the other three. I've got three of these containers, so I'm going to have nine plants total. Um, again, next time <laughs> I likely will just uh, plant the seeds directly into these um, into these rock wool cubes. And that way I don't have to worry about tossing the dirt off and separating the plants and all. But, you know, that's, it's just, uh, it's preference. You can do the soil if you want. But um, that's pretty much it. One other thing is, is once you start harvesting these leaves, which, um, you know, we, I'll show you, I'll show you that later. But um, it might not be a bad thing to, to, you know, stagger some plantings and grow start growing a new set of uh, seeds, maybe around the time of your first, um, of your first harvest. That way, 
you know, when the plants have, when you've harvested them several times, I don't, maybe a couple months, I'm not sure, you will have a, a fresh set of plants to go into the nutrients. So you can just kind of have fresh, you know, new fresh plants all the time. I know you can reharvest these several times, but there gets to be a point where you're you're just better off having a new, you know, having a new plant. So uh, we'll we'll see how these go. I'm sure they're going to do just fine, but um, I'll have an update in maybe two weeks or so. So that's it. I'll uh, I'll sp I'll speed through the rest of this and get these other three containers made. But that'll be the end of it here. So. Uh, Again, just like, subscribe, and, and comment below, especially if you have any, any suggestions for me. This is the first time I've ever grown lettuce, um, you know, lettuce uh, hydroponically for, you know, for the family, because we, we really like the butter crunch. It's, it's a really good, uh, really good lettuce. So uh, any, you know, any suggestions will help me as well. So I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time.